All right, so you guys are probably thinking, Kevin, why are you dressed so snazzy right now? Because somehow I managed to get a press pass to the Travel Expo. If you could take anyone on a vacation with you, dead or alive, who would you bring? Probably O.J. Simpson. Why? We are about to do shots of maple syrup together. Whoops, cheers. Mmm. Woo! Good stuff. Everybody loved O.J. back then. I still love O.J. Schlancha. Schlancha. No idea what she just said. All right, Bryce, do you have a favorite accent? Ooh. Well, people sometimes think I'm Jamaican, which I'm really not Jamaican at all. What is the weirdest travel experience you guys have ever had? Uh, I think it was in uh, when we went to uh, Venice. So we had somebody pick us up at the hotel at 5 o'clock in the morning, take us down dark streets to a, a pier, and then he left us there at 5 o'clock in the morning. Uh, OJ knows how to party, too. I felt like we were not, we were expect, expect, uh, escaping from the Nazis. All right, so what is the weirdest travel experience you've ever had? I'm traveling to China and seeing people eat rat. Good stuff. Can you do a Jamaican accent? Uh, you see the, the stop boat coming down, the dark alleys, dark. And we figured we were going to be picked up by the uh, the, boat the, the boat to take uh, the boat to take us away from the Nazis. That's the way it felt. <laughs> let me think. Let me think. Uh, what is your favorite accent? Oh, French or English. Uh, je peux parler français uh, très bien. Uh, Jamaican me crazy. Okay, Glenn, what do you think of my shirt? I think your shirt is absolutely awesome. And if it was my size, I'd make you an offer you couldn't refuse. And what, what would happen? And then you'd walk around giving interviews shirtless. <laughs> All right, I'm here with the EMT. All right, if you could bring anyone dead or alive on a vacation with you, who would you bring? Anyone dead or alive on a vacation with me. What about her? She could go on a vacation with me. That's my sister you're talking about. <laughs> Guys, look how red his face is getting right now. My bad. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> when you're on a road trip, what is your favorite road trip song to jam out to? The wheels on the bus go round it. <laughs> What is the weirdest travel experience you guys have ever had? A cross-country train trip, which a lot of things happened that some of them I couldn't even tell you in, until I knew you better, but that was the weirdest. You're already talking about me being shirtless. I think we know each other pretty well. So wait, so what does this thing do? It actually stimulates your blood circulation, makes you produce endorphins, your natural painkillers. Good stuff. If you turn it up too high, though, it, it can be a little painful. I got sort of approached by what it turned out to be a drug dealer on this train trip and of course I had to let him know that I wasn't interested in sort of assisting him. And then there was a fight and they stopped us in the middle of the night and threw two guys off. They sort of got a little rowdy in the bar. I just happened to be in the bar. I don't really drink. Um, and Sounds like you had a wild train ride. And that's the part I can tell you. Okay. How about you? I can't compare. <laughs> What is the strangest style travel experience you've ever had? That'd be right now. Do you guys have a favorite accent when traveling? Is there an accent that you just love? Ow! I like English accents, and I like Australian accents. Do you have a favorite accent while traveling? Irish. Irish and Australian. And I like Southern accents. Could you impersonate one of those accents for me? No, I don't have an accent and uh... <laughs> Yes, you do. <laughs> you What's your name? Uh, Kevin. Oh, I thought it was press. <laughs> <laughs> Would your fian fiance do an Irish accent? No. <laughs> She's terrible at it. She can barely speak English. What is your favorite road trip song? And please don't say all the single ladies. Uh, well, there's this song called Roly Poly Portland. Could you sing it for me? I, I forgot the lyrics. Roly poly Portland. That's actually closer. Have you heard the song? I've never heard it. I just <laughs> sang the title. It's Magic Massage Without the Happy Ending. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to wheel out of here real quick. Hey, no, no, no. Hey, no, no. 
I think it's time to cut them off from the maple syrup. <laughs>